Here's a CC 2020 update for Premiere Pro called Auto Reframe. Great if you're creating videos for social media. Before this, it was a time intensive process. I'm gonna just jump in and show you what it does. Basically taking a video in a normal 16 by nine format and being able to automatically reframe it into a square, a nine by 16 or several other options. And as you can see the motion of the clip behind, it's actually reframing our subject so that it stays in the frame. How do we do this? If you've created a sequence, whether it's one clip or multiple clips, just right click that sequence in your program project monitor and then just go up to auto reframe sequence. It's going to give you the options for the aspect ratio, square, vertical, 16 by nine, or vertical nine by 16. So say we wanna make this good for our Instagram stories uh, or Facebook stories or whatever purpose, you can rename up here. You could also try out different motion presets. If there's a lot of motion, you might wanna check faster motion because it's going to do a little bit of a more aggressive um, analyzation. And then also clip nesting. Uh, typically you don't want to nest clips, especially if it's a multi-sequence project or multi-clip project. And then click create. It's automatically going to create a new sequence and you can see here that it stays and it kind of tracks our subject. How does it do that? It does it by creating position keyframes up here in our motion effects. So under effects controls, you can see the keyframes. Now these are editable, you can delete them, you could add some in case it doesn't work out for you. So that's pretty much how it works. You can see how it would work with multiple clips and I added a title here. Now I have run into some issues, so some of these things will have to be edited after the fact. So this is the original and then the one by one, you can see there the mishap, but it reframes not only the title, but also the position of our person in the middle. And then at the end, again, it does a pretty good job tracking these motorcycles. It's kind of picking which one to follow. It's got both in frame. There's a little wiggle there. So these are things that you would go over here, perhaps delete a couple keyframes to see if it is a little bit more smooth or go to the keyframes. You can do that by these left or right buttons and then moving the position left or right or however you think it, it should be. So this is an issue here with this clip. It did not frame the subject uh, how I wanted it. So this would be a case where I'd have to go in and actually manually adjust for this clip. There's also ways to do this if you just want to do it for specific clips. So if you're watching this video, you probably understand how to do it uh, by now, but um, the basic way, but say you have a uh, sequence like this. The original way we would probably do this is by duplicating this sequence. So duplicating, we're gonna call this nine by 16. And then we're going to go up to open it up, go to sequence settings, change it to some sort of nine by 16 preset. You can have a preset or change the frame size here. Click OK, click OK. And now we have this sequence and our video footage hasn't actually changed or adjusted at all. You can actually apply this as an effect to any specific clips that you want. So under effects, under video effects, under transform, or just by typing in reframe up in the search bar, you can drag this onto one of your clips or actually you have to draw, drag it into the auto the effects controls. Not sure why that might be a glitch with uh, how it works right now. But by dragging it onto our clip, you can see that it automatically reframed this clip back here. Let's try this with our motorcycles. And there you can see that it auto reframes it. Let's see if it does it with the titles. It does not do it with the titles. Uh, it doesn't move the titles like so. Um, let's try this one. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't apply to titles, but it when you are doing it individually because you could just move the titles, 
yourself. But if you're doing it to a whole sequence, I think that um, it actually does move the titles around and reframes them in your new sequence. So that's pretty much it. Of course, there are going to be some glitches as we saw uh, right now. It's probably going to be improved or there might just be things where depending on the clip, depending on the motion, the complexity, that kind of thing, you might have to edit and adjust it manually yourself. If you have any questions, please let me know. I got these video clips from pixabay.com, free to use, commercially free videos for any of your projects. So if you're looking for footage to practice this with, check out pixabay.com. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this update.